Hi everybody and welcome to Modelli System. Today you learn how to lit up a Bugatti Chiron. Therefore I decided to take the diecast model car made by Burago in 1 to 18. If you ask yourself why did I take this model car, the answer is simple. It's a beautiful car with a great lighting design, it has a lot of details, it's affordable and that's why it's perfect for a small project. As we know it already from other Borago model cars, the disassembly isn't complicated. You need to unloose all screws and separate the undercarriage and the car body. The undercarriage isn't necessary for this moment, so put it on the side and proceed with the car body. Please be careful with the steering wheel because it's clipped to the dashboard. Don't worry, it's nearly impossible to break the steering wheel while disassembling the model. But be careful anyway. Here you see two of three reasons why the engine can't be opened on this model. Both nibs and some more material must be removed to make the hood movable again. Later in this video I'll show you what is to do. My question is, why did Burago close the engine hood? To detach the rear bumper use a flat screwdriver or a similar tool. By turning the tool while it is in a gap between the metal car body and the plastic rear bumper, you can correct the glue dots and detach both parts. When removing the headlights, please be careful with your tool, because of the windshield and the clear plastic parts of the headlights. Before you start to remove the headlights, put the dashboard out of the model as well as the trunk. Lift the headlights from different angles to loosen the fastenings. If you remove the taillight, be careful with it. The middle section is very thin and can easily be broken. This step is very important for the whole project. You need a machine, which could be a Dremel or in this case a Proxon Micro Mode. The milling bit has a diameter of 5mm and a thickness of around 0.8mm. While removing material from the taillights, please assemble the taillight and the rear bumper. So you have a good guidance and the created channel is precise enough for the next step. Try to use a drill bit size which does not exceed the milling bit's thickness. The reason for that are forces which coming from the drill bit while you are creating a breakthrough. And that's why the guidance wouldn't be good enough for accurate work.
Now we finish with the taillights and proceed to the headlights. For this small project it's necessary to create 4 breakouts in each headlight, so we can place correct shaped acrylic parts into the breakouts, which are later our daytime running lights. The clear square shape bar is perfect for the front lights, but you can cut the same out of a 3mm thick acrylic sheet. When using a milling bit, be sure to have a correct adjusted turning speed. Cut off the headlights carefully and create the breakouts we need. A file will help you to shape the headlights. Once the headlights are prepared, the result could be like this. Use the same milling bit as you did it for the taillights and remove some material, to cover up the area later with aluminum tape or silver paint. Glue the already soldered LED to the lighting segment by using hot glue and cover it up with tape to block unnecessary lighting coming from the LED. The lighting part of the taillight requires the shaping of a 0.5mm thick acrylic sheet to match the given dimensions. Glue red LEDs, in this case 8 of them, with hot glue to the acrylic and cover everything except the rear edge with tape. The result could be similar or same to what you see on the screen. Now assemble the lights and put them back into the Bugatti and fix all with hot glue if necessary. Create a wiring harness which matches your electrical circuitry and don't forget to use correct resistors. To make the engine hood movable again, you need to cut off some material. Please cut carefully a bit of the hinge joint, cut off the nibs and take the hood out of the Bugatti. If you apply too much force while releasing the engine hood, you probably break a hinge, as I did it. The replacement was in this case a 2.5mm screw. If you finish the cutting process of the hood, put it back and use pliers to squeeze the hinge joints. The battery holder I was using for this beautiful Bugatti is made for an ordinary photo battery. If you like, you can hide the battery under the engine cover but I placed it instead of the silencers to get a fast access when replacing the empty battery. There are of course many other solutions to power up a model car.
Once the battery holder fits perfectly, you can connect the holder to your wiring harness without or with a main power switch. I decided to put the main power switch close to the battery. When you finished all single steps, connect all wires according your circuitry and assemble the Bugatti Chiron. Don't be confused about the bunch of wires in this Bugatti. I've used a microchip to program some lighting effects for this model, which is a tasker for me. I left enough wires to unsolder any electrical connections without big efforts. This project is finished and the result is a small lighting package for a very beautiful car, which includes daytime running lights and the big single taillight. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some inspiration or ideas to start your own project. Thank you for watching my video. Maybe I will publish late in the future some more tutorials of this kind, so keep following me.